So do not tell him to drop rhymes unless you're ready to take them in. Let us hear your new rhymes. Mm. Later. Come on. You came back to become an MC. You gotta be ready to spit at any second. Yo, kicking the fly cliches, doing duets with BNA. Happens to make my day. Though I'm tired of busting no shots, having to rock knots, running up in spots and making it hot. I'd rather flip shows instead of those hanging on my living room wall. My first joint and it went gold. Dope. Yep, that was New York's very own Sadiq Saunderson no, playing no, Dennis Coles, AKA D Love, no, AKA no, Ghostface no, Killer in Wu Tang, an American no, saga. Please welcome Mr. Sadiq Saunderson. <laughs> I was like, goosebumps, goose. It's so weird because when you when you don't have that, I, I don't have that kind of talent. I've never rapped in my entire life. So when I see that, I was like, oh my gosh, the skill, the <laughs> like that it takes to do that. Well, so by the way, just I just want to point this out just to know if I'm alone because in addition to all the great things, this show reminds us of this iconic group. It also reminds us that they actually have real names. That Ghostface Killer isn't the name <laughs> on his birth certificate because I keep forgetting. Like now with the right. show, you see them saying Dennis, or like, you're like, oh wait, that is they actually had names before. Right, right, right. So does that happen to you? Am I the only person that just forgot that they actually have real names? Nah, I mean, I think, you know, from season one, you know, people have, people before were calling me Dennis. They'd be like, yo, Dennis. Like, if they saw me in the street, yo, Dennis. And now it's like, yo, go. So I, I think it's really dope that um, we started off as these, you know, these these people with their, their true names and then eventually developed into who everybody in the, the world knows them to be, so... All right, so I told you that my cool factor keeps going up and up and up because for season one, I got to speak to RZA and Dave East, and then John L was here. He, John L's from Staten Island, and he talked about shooting all over his neighborhood. He told us that they call him Woo Baby on set. What? Right? So you're from Brooklyn. Have you guys yeah. shot in any of your old spots, or would you recommend any spots that you like that would fit into the show? Um, I mean, we haven't shot in Brooklyn um, for the story. It, we, we, it, it, hasn't or at least none of my scenes uh -huh. you know we, we shot in brooklyn um i would love that that would be really dope but you know eventually i know i'll be in in a trailer somewhere in my neighborhood but i also do really enjoy being on location and being on you know kind of away from from where i'm from in order to tell a story about something else you know all right so i feel like you having this role you being from new york uh, uh them being from new york has to make it like even more of a deeper connection for you Oh, yeah. I mean, it's an honor just to be a part of, you know, the Wu family, which is just so iconic in 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 culture, you know, no matter where you're from. But to be from, like you said, to be from Brooklyn, to be from New York and to be representing these, you know, men who kind of who came out of of this environment and were able to become international, you know, superstars and it is, is truly a blessing and it means a lot to me and to be a part of the culture, you know. I love hip hop. I grew up on hip hop and so, you know, it, it's it's an honor to play such an iconic, you know, hip hop figure. So well you're playing an iconic hip hop figure, you're gonna become an iconic actor too, because not only are you from Brooklyn, you went to performing arts school, then onto Carnegie Mellon and your mentor Jamie Hector was also in the first season of the series. I was like, talk about full circle and life giving you signs that you're right where you need to be, right? Yeah. So it's just pretty yeah. cool. And on yeah. the flip side of playing Ghostface Killer, let's talk about like this new take on Romeo and Juliet's story, which received rave reviews at Sundance. Yeah, so I'm I'm a part of a you know a movie called R Hashtag J. Um, it's a, it's in a screen life format. Uh, so so that's actually a picture from a, a play that I did mm -hmm. playing Romeo. But I'm also playing Mercutio in a movie. Um, that's at Sundance, or that was at Sundance in South by Southwest. Um, and that is just, you know, currently being shopped around and looking for a home. But I'm really excited for that to come out because I've, I'm excited for people to see a different side of me. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. you said, I trained at Carnegie Mellon, so there's a there's a lot of range there. And, and I, I kind of want to be that actor that is always surprising the audiences and, and having them, you know, trust and believe that I am 
somebody else, you know, from time to time. So I'm really excited for that to come out and I'm excited to, to tell, retell that story. Mm. I'm excited to talk to you because you say, I know there's range there. There's no range here. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. By the way, like with all your, with, with the show, like being a big hit, you having to do all this press, all these interviews and all that stuff. I was going to say, you need to relax more. But from the looks of this picture, you got that covered, making time to chill with your family. Oh, you got the... You got the bathroom <laughs> picture. I was like, where were you yeah. guys? We were at a, a spa out in Jersey. Oh, and that's my mom, who I love. We were celebrating her birthday, and my brother, my younger brother, Ali. Um, and, yeah, we just needed a nice spa day and, you know, just to relax and, you know, take it easy. That's important, too, self-care and, and, and taking care of yourself so that you can show up as your full self when you work uh, is super important to me. So. He is wise, too. Thank you, Sadiq. Say hi to mom and Ali and say happy oh. belated birthday. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We cannot oh. wait to see more of you, not just on streets, but beyond. Everyone, the first three episodes of Wu-Tang and American Saga is currently streaming on Hulu with all new episodes dropping every Wednesday on the streaming service. You do not want to miss it. Just get in on the fun on the action. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Hope Thank to you see you me. soon. Yes, OG. When nice our hashtag J comes out, we'll have you back. Yeah. Mercutio. Yeah. Tiddle it. <laughs> oh, Romeo, Romeo. Oh, Dan, oh, Dan. Wherefore art thou, Hazel? <laughs> <laughs>